hi everyone and welcome back so let's uh, proceed further and uh, we are going to work on the next section of uber eats clone so in the last video we were able to show all the all the menu items based on the search so like we have already created the search page and when you click on to forward slash search we were able to search the restaurant name by dish menu items and all so on this uh, page we can see that uh, when you search something we should be able to see this and when you click on to the item view more what should happen so ideally what should happen is it should be able to fetch that particular restaurant and its dish menu items on the on this particular landing page okay so let's say if you are going to this route after login on the forward slash restaurant then it should show you all popular dish menu items from the different restaurant but if you are searching something and then when you click on to the dish menu items then it should show you the dish menu items of that particular restaurant you say you can see the route eats restaurant and the restaurant id so this is the, the the tweak we need to do in our logic i mean both are going to fetch the same kind of data here you can see this is the route we are navigating to eats restaurant and restaurant id and on this restaurant slice we need to fetch the selected uh, restaurant dishes right so currently we don't have an api like we have all the dish dish menu items but in the dish menu items we can also pass the restaurant id and there you can just actually do the search filter and all those things we are just going to use a dish uh, search api so there are two ways to navigate to this page either you click on to a particular tile after doing search it will take you to the restaurant page and in that we need to show all the dish menu items of a different categories like okay pizza burger uh, brunch lunch dinner in for that particular restaurant only but if you are going from post login to this restaurant page then you should be able to fetch the the dish menu items of all the restaurants right so here uh, we already have a restaurant slice here i'm just uh, going to replace this with a fetch selected restaurant and here we are going to pass the id because uh, if I wanted to fetch the restaurant by ID, I think I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm just going to add it. So fetch restaurant by ID because if I do a fetch restaurant by ID, it is not going to give me the dish menu items in the way I want. I mean, it will give me the nested object of all the categories and all. But I wanted to use this particular page for two different reasons, for two different purposes. Either a user comes directly to the API uh, eats restaurant page or user is selecting some particular restaurant and then coming to the eats restaurant and restaurant id so what i'm going to planning is i'm just going to fetch the dish menu items when you are navigating from a particular uh, restaurant menu item then i will fetch the dish menu item of a restaurant or all so it's just like uh, I'm, I'm just creating this async thunk just for fetch restaurant by id okay and then we'll go to the landing page here you here you can do it i mean this is one way to populate the data about the selected restaurant in the redux state this dot restaurant dot id okay this is like fetch restaurant by id fetch restaurant data by id which contains restaurant informations and menu item informations and all this is the one way but i'm thinking of doing it in another way here uh, we may need to tweak a little bit because here we have this api api v1 dish right and this is giving me the restaurant object also and you can see the restaurant id is inside the object dish object dot restaurant dot id so when you click on to the tile we are navigating to this object dot restaurant dot id so that will take me to the restaurant landing page and there i can fetch the dish menu items of this restaurant all the dish menu items of this restaurant using this but let's do it in different way what we can do is when you land to that particular page here what we can do is there are two ways either you will have a path parameter which is a uuid if the uuid is there then fetch the dish menu items for that selected restaurant id if you don't have a uuid in the url eats restaurant that means fetch all the dish menu items from the platform okay for all from all the restaurants so this is so we are just selecting something and uh, we are getting getting this data and we can just check the redux state what it contains 
and you can see this is fetching the uh, selected restaurant object also okay because this is the object i have selected so you can also populate this information here it contains the dishes and different categories lunch dinner breakfast and uh, categories right so this is how also you can do otherwise what we can do is we you land to this page and make an api call based on this path param and fetch only the dish menu items using dish api not by restaurant by id in that way you can have a same json object structure either you either you are coming to this page from the restaurant by id or by just a simple restaurant so this is what we are doing when you are passing the id display selected restaurant with the, its menu item if you are not passing id you are coming directly then display all the restaurant menu items okay that will solve our problem now we just need to make a integrate it with the api sync api call and display the data so for that i'm just going to create a dish slice because uh, i mean it's still same but i don't want it to make uh, lots of things inside of one file i have this dish slice which is going to give me the the dishes and i'm just copy i have copied the restaurant slice into the dish slice and i'm just removing things which i don't need okay here we have a dishes so i will just say dishes here this is my initial state and then i will just making this api call which will update the redux state for me so this is where we are making call we are passing a restaurant id this is optional actually i mean you wanted to fetch the dish menu items of a selected restaurant you can do it otherwise uh, you can just fetch all the the restaurant uh, dishes for the from the platform the only thing is here we need to work on this filtering logic that's why i created a separate slice you might have seen the, the restaurant landing page it has some categories when you click on the category I, i'm going to show you the selected category menu items okay uh, burger pizza or uh, noodles we need to we have these couple of categories so we need to show the items based on the category so currently this is working with the mock data this is mock data now we need to make this working with the real data which we are getting from the api so i'm just going to follow the same json object structure okay use using a dish slice so what i'm getting doing is i'm getting the dish menu items okay and i'm, I'm just creating these two objects category and uh, menu category selected category food holder and food object so this is what this redux uh, action is returning selected category that means by default the first one is selected menu category all the menu categories of whatever you have currently it will have a duplicates because uh, i'm not filtering the unique categories then food holder and the food food holder where you can apply the search and set the result because you click on to this you will that will become an active category and based on that category only you need to show the dish menu items okay so this is simple filtering i'm doing name description food image menu id restaurant id and status okay and then there are some category which contains a name id and menu image so if you see this category we need to group them based on the category so let's say there are 10 dish menu items there is a category which is uh, based on that we need to group there is a category of burger there are 10 dish menu items which are like burger burger of different types so there is a category item dot category is a string id and we need to group based on this when you click on to this we need to filter the food menu items based on the category we have okay initially we will just try to show it and then we will see how we are doing it so this is my initial state which is empty and when you have a data when you have data then what we need to do we need to populate the data action dot payload in the selected menu category food food holder so it's a fetch top dishes and from this we are getting data so this is a redux data after this async operation fetch dishes for landing page i'm just replacing it with a different keyword this is a restaurant slice so replace this with something else because we already have a restaurant slice and data is action dot payload and we don't need all these selectors we just need a fetch dishes for the landing page because this is actually the landing page of the restaurant so um, maybe different variable name can work here so we are fetching state dot restaurant dot dishes state dot dishes dot uh, dishes because dishes is now a new new uh, slice 
and it is going to be added in the root reducer also it is going to be a root state object so you can do state dot dishes dot dishes this will give you this json tree and now we can use the selector to access the data inside the component this is the restaurant slice so we'll just convert it to dish menu item slice and then uh, we are just going to import this inside a store so we are just importing this so this is the dishes and this is the dish reducer so that dishes will also have some redux tree added so we are just going to remove the mock data because that we don't need we initialize the state that also we will remove but inside a use effect what we are doing is we are going to dispatch an action okay give me the give me the data give me the dish menu items which are available on the platform or give me the dish menu items which are available on the platform for selected restaurant id so this restaurant id is optional i can just make a question mark but i don't know i'm not sure if it will work otherwise we'll just uh, remove this argument for now because i'm not passing right now so this is going to be empty restaurant id and we are just fetching the data okay and uh, once the data is available we are going to use a use selector that will give me the data from the redux state so here i'm just using use selector use selector uh, list uh, dish, dish menu item for the landing page i got the data and now i will start playing with the data so here uh, we are doing set data i think this is where we are actually selecting a category and based on the category we are filtering the food menu item okay so i will just replace it for now we will refactor it because we need to dispatch an action to the redux action only okay selected menu category and uh, that redux state because inside the reducers inside the slices we are just writing a sync action asynchronous actions but you can also write asynchronous actions and based on the actions you can update your redux state so this is what we are going to do when you click on to this button we are going to dispatch a synchronous action that will update the redux state with the new filtered food menu item based on the selected category so here i'm going to call this method change category selection and here it is going to dispatch an action based on the category you are selecting and this is the live data right now and you can see these categories are random i mean there is no unique categories these are repeated as many number of times we have the food menu items so what i will do is i'm trying to create a fresh data for that i will clean up the restaurant uh, database there are three tables restaurant dishes restaurant and address so uh, let's remove the address which has the foreign key then the uh, restaurant dishes then the restaurant obviously you need to go from bottom to top if you want to delete the data so i will remove the restaurants now now restaurant dishes and then i will start creating some data for uh, the ui so we have some data created that i have skipped because there is a lot of data i have created i, I created a new restaurant now i am the re owner of the restaurant so i have added uh, the i have added this menu items and they, these apis works on authorization tokens so i copied that token from the session and i'm already a restaurant admin so i can actually create the dish menu items and i can see them now burger new hot dog tacos and noodles still i see the duplicates but this is the fresh data i have now i need to enable these click actions so when i click on noodles i should see the menu items of noodles when i click on pizza i should see i should be able to see the items on the pizza so these are like some uh, categories i just need to make sure that all the data is uh, being shown here i think this is price food item food type lots of information is there so average ratings average price this is the property we are, are looking for to show the price and here okay this is the price property so we will try to just populate the required fields which are not being shown so inside this slice we will populate some more properties because this is what we are showing so price cuisine type food type meal type uh, thumbnail image all the required properties so that we can just show them on the tile
so now i can see uh the price is getting displayed then there is a plus icon now i need to enable these clicks for these clicks i need to write a redux synchronous actions that is going to update or give me the new redux state based on the category selection okay so if you look into the redux state how it looks like there are dishes inside dishes we have a data that contains three things selected category default category menu category food holder and the food and food is the object we are showing in the bottom so what we need to do based on the category selection we need to just update the food holder object and iterate the food holder and food is something which is going to keep the the overall copy food holder we can use to just change and display so this is how you can uh, add an action i am creating one uh, synchronous action create slice and here this menu item slice inside this reducer i have created this action so if you look into our action what we are doing is so this is our action we have created so this is the action we have created change food category selection this is i mean these are the synchronous actions which takes a state and action and based on that they are going to return they are going to update the state state dot dishes state is still resolved inside data i will get the existing data but i am just updating the selected category which is the category which i am passing in the payload i am setting this category as an active category that's the only thing i mean that's a simple redux reducer right action dot payload and override the property it will give you the data object and then we state so here we are setting this uh, we are exporting this action so that our component can use it we have to export it from the actions and then uh, here i can just import this so change category selection okay now this is working that's nice you can click and i can see the selected category is getting changed in the redux now once the category is getting changed we also need to trigger the filtering of the food and food holder object so let's do that here what we are doing is we are getting the dish menu items and selected menu and we are going to just filter out the food menu items data dot uh, food currently i need to add the typings otherwise it is very easy to identify what property is on what type so i dot uh, if you see here on the top what kind of data we have i need to select based on this menu id yes menu id i need to match with id so inside food there is a i menu id menu dot id equal to i dot menu id uh this should be menu id yeah if they are same then just do the filter and put them in the food or food holder so that we will see i think there is small bug we will try to debug it so i'm just updating the food object also so based on your click we will be able to filter the food object so you when you select a category we need to show only the food i menu items from that category only okay i think i know the bug because food is food object is the main object and we are updating that food object also only instead of that inside a food object we can maintain the the whole big copy of the dish menu items and is the food holder we can use to show because food holder we, we can change based on the food based on the what is the category selected okay so for that i will just uh, use the food holder food holder is an object which we can use so here i am just using food holder equal to food so we are not overriding food object we are overriding a food holder object so i should be able to see something okay let me see what is not updated food holder okay because food is something which we are showing and food holder is we are keeping so i just reloaded it and it is showing me all the options so here we need to check what we are doing so we have food holder food object and we also need to keep these categories unique because currently these categories are not unique and that's the problem because it is showing all the categories multiple times in the horizontal row so we need to i mean we need to return the new object based on the unique category id so we can write a simple logic i am just searching for this like there is an array and based on that particular property which is unique we can we can just uh, filter out that and this is the right example okay we can just 
use it i'm just trying but i think for the typescript i still need to struggle a little bit so what i will do is i can write a simple utility function for this okay so let's write a simple utility function that i will show i mean i write a json dot stringify and then remove the items which are duplicate so remove duplicate this is a function and this is giving me the unique category and this is how the new object should look like food data unique category category and all and when you click on to these when you start clicking on to the individual item so you will we started filtering the things you can also play with the redux state here menu categories these are the category food holder now when you click on to individual item this is then they should be able to display you the based on the category so let's see this uh, in the next part like uh, what all are pending we need to apply still this category filter nicely and then we when you click on to this plus minus we need to add a minus button so that you can add and remove items from the cart and we all need to work on this right side sidebar so that we can populate the user session information and the items